This is dedicated to all river peoples and to those becoming mountains from the Congo to the Mekong to the Tokonohono to the Doswalipsh to all river peoples and those becoming mountains.
give thanks to this land, to the Doshwalips, to the river, to the mountain, and to the Skokomish people for allowing us to be here today, for being the stewards of this land, for allowing us to come together in this name of healing and music and sound. I give thanks to the ancestors always for bringing us together today to be in peace and in love with one another. I was looking for ways to be more um, intimate with people through music and to be more intentional in my effect with music. I work with the Shruti box a lot, which comes from the Indian Raga tradition, um, the Bidim Bao, which comes from Capueta, and then really any, anything I can get my hands on. So sounds, birds, leaves crumpling, guitars, whatever it is. Before um, the pandemic, I was doing more group baths with folks, offering those for free by donation. I work with private clients by appointment. Um, I've done some residencies out of different studios. Sometimes it's the sound, I call it the sound work. Other times it's music or it's a mix of both. My musical foundation comes from my parents. They listen to awesome music. They still listen to awesome music. Um, my dad is a blues singer in his old age now. Um, one of my brothers who has passed on was formative in Seattle hip hop. His name is John Moore, and he inspired a lot of youth to keep creating. Um, after college, he came back to the city and did 20 years of active activism with the youth and the musical community here. So definitely feel very grateful um, to feel supported in music being a fundamental part of our lives. Outside for me is where I would be sent as a child by my mother um, often. Outside is what my sisters used to tell me I smelled like after being outside for hours. I love that smell of grass and air and dirt on you. Um, and outside feels like going to be out in the world where we're actually from. So outside feels like home. Public lands, I think that's an interesting one because it's like you only have public lands in the context where lands have been privatized. So on the one hand, it's good because we live in a world like that where lands are privatized and colonized. On the flip side, it's kind of an absurd notion. Um, I'm appreciative of places that are reserved for us to be with ourselves outside, but I also think we've got to eventually go in a different direction that doesn't involve so much of that dichotomy between what is public and what is private. So my name is Jennifer Moore. My website is www.jenniferbmore.com, also frequency.com. Um, my email is emitonelight at gmail.com. You can catch me on IG at Jen the Moore um, or think fondly of me and I'm sure we'll run into one another.